Hello everyone! I show you a lot of different techniques and designs. I realized that we should learn to sew more simple items. Have a look at the sketch. Today we are going to make a dress with one-piece sleeves. The dress will be made of jersey fabric. First we need to talk about the measurements. Natalie will help me today. We will show you how to take measurements. After that we will show you the sketch once again. The first measurement is the bust. My bust measurement is 118 cm, so I write down that one half of bust is 59 cm. What's next? Waist 107 cm. No, it's 104 cm. Alright, let's make it 104 cm. Can you breathe? Yes, I can. Alright, 104 cm. I write it down that one half of my waist is 52 cm. I want you to understand that it's very important to measure the waist accurately. It doesn't mean that you have to measure the most tight part of your body. It can be here. Have a look here. Waist is usually under the armpit. Put your arm this way to find your waist. Next, we need to measure the hips. One hundred fourteen centimeters. That means that one half of hips is fifty seven centimeters. Notice how Natalie measures the back width, not like in a basic pattern. Measure the distance between the two shoulders. You can even do it yourself. Forty two centimeters. So one half is twenty one centimeter. Back length forty centimeters. The back length also usually ends on the waist. The length of the item is 105 cm. We don't need to measure it. The length of the sleeve is 40 cm. Measure it down from the shoulder and then measure the arm circumference here. 27 cm. Now let's have a look at the sketch once again. Have a look at the sleeve. It's not a bad wing. It's a very elegant one-piece sleeve. There will be seams both on the center back and the center front. The bottom will be overcast. The neckline will be edged with the bias binding. Bust, waist, hips, back width, back length, item length, sleeve length, sleeve circumference. These are the only measurements we need. Let's start making a pattern. I'm not going to draw a pattern on tracing paper. I'll be drawing right on fabric. I recommend you drawing a dress right on fabric. Don't waste time and tracing paper. I'll start drawing about 5 cm down from the edge. I put the first mark here. Next, I need to draw the center back. Draw it about 2 cm away from the edge. The back length is 40 cm. This is the waistline. This point marks the seventh neck bone. Here it is. This is the waistline. Next, I need to measure 17 cm down from the waistline and draw a hip line. Actually, my hips are 11 cm down from the waist. Imagine how ugly would my clothes look if I make hips 11 cm down from the waist. Next, I need to divide the back length in half, 20 cm, and draw a bust line. This is also an armhole depth line. The seventh neck bone, armhole depth line or bust line, waistline, 
hip line. Next I need to draw the bottom line. The length of my item is 105 cm together with the overcast. You can make it as long as you want. I'm drawing the bottom line. Next I need to draw the back neckline. To do that I need to draw a 9 cm long line here and then raise it for about 3.5 cm. Now I can draw the back neckline. Here it is. What do we need to do next? We need to mark the needed measurements on the bust, waist and hips. Anyway, first we need to shape the center back. Now I can mark the needed measurements. One half of bust is 59 centimeters, so one fourth is 29.5 centimeters. I also need to add about 1.5 centimeters for a seam allowance. 31 centimeter. I drew this mark just for the further construction. I'm going to make a one-piece sleeve, so I don't really need it. One-fourth of waist is 26 cm, so I measure and mark 27 cm. One-fourth of hips is 28.5 cm, so I measure and mark 29 cm. Hips are 29 cm wide, so I also measure and mark 29 cm on the bottom. And then I'll make the bottom 1.5 cm narrower. You should always draw this line with a ruler. Other lines can be drawn inside. Next I need to draw the back width line. The back width is 21 cm, so I draw a line this way. Now I can draw a shoulder line. First I need to draw a straight line and then move it 2 cm lower. Let's have a look at what we got once again before we start drawing a one-piece sleeve. This is the point zero. Down from this point I measured the back length, 40 cm. This measurement was divided in half to draw the bust line. This is the point 20. 0, 40, 20. Next, I measured 17 cm down from the waistline. 17 cm is the measurement for a medium height. The distance between the waist and the hips can be from 17 to 21 cm long. 19 21 cm is the measurement for tall people. 17 cm are enough for me. Next, I measured the item length down from the point zero. After that, I drew the bottom line. I'll sign it. Next, I mark the needed measurements on the lines. One fourth bust, one fourth waist, one fourth hips. I made the back neckline 9 cm wide. I've decided to make it wider than usual for the dress to be more comfortable. You can make it as wide as you want. You can make it narrower and then alter it to the fitting. I think that I will make the back neckline even wider after fitting. The depth of the back neckline is 3.5 cm. I hope that everything is clear so far. 
The slope of the back shoulder is 2.5 cm. Find the point where the back width line crosses the shoulder line. This is where the shoulder ends. I need to measure the sling length down from this point. 40 cm. Draw a right angle here. This is very important. The sleeve circumference is 27 cm. And I also need to add 1 cm for a seam allowance. I need to measure and mark 14 cm here. This is how the sleeve looks like now. It's better to make it a bit wider than needed and then alter it to the fitting. If you make it too tight, you won't be able to change it. Have a look here. Now it's time to use your imagination. You can draw a sleeve this way. It's correct. You can also draw it this way or this. Draw it however you want. I don't like two big sleeves. I divide this distance in half and start drawing a sleeve from this point. This is going to be a very nice, comfortable sleeve. Have a look here. I want to make a dress with three quarter sleeves. You can make a dress with long sleeves. You can see that we don't need this measurement to draw a sleeve. We need it to draw a side seam. Have a look here. What should you do if you have a tight waist? You can draw a line this way. Don't ever do it. Draw a line the way I did and then make a waist tuck. I don't need it, but you can make it if you need to. If you draw a round side seam, you won't be able to make a dress fit you. The back is ready. The front will be made on its bases. The only things we need to change are the neckline and the shoulder. All the other details are the same. Learn to sew using this technique. It's very convenient. I think I'll make the dress a bit longer in case I need to alter something. Now I can start cutting. I'm not going to draw how much I add for the seams. I add 7 mm to the neckline. Notice that you should shape the center back before measuring the waist. My dress will be very comfortable. The technique doesn't depend on the body type. It's the same for all bodies. I've showed you what to do if you have a slim waist. My body is perfectly square, and so is my pattern. I add 1 cm seam allowance to all the details but the neckline. I divided the distance between the waist and the bust lines in half to find where to start drawing a sleeve. The back is ready. 
The best thing about this technique is that we don't need to measure or calculate anything else. I need to put the back on the fabric, outline it, make needed changes and cut the front. You can see that the piece of fabric I'm using is bigger than needed to make a dress. Remember that we will need it to cut a bias binding. There will be a seam on the center front. I don't need to make a center front round as the center back. It should be straight. I put the back detail on the fabric in such way that the beginning and the end of the center back are unfold. I just won't pay attention to the curve. First, I need to raise the shoulder for about 2 cm. I need to add them for the balance. The front shoulder should be 2 cm higher than the back one. I'll raise the shoulder for 2 cm, because my body is a pretty big size. You can raise the shoulders for 1, 2 or 3 cm. Next, I need to measure 8 cm down from this point. This is the neck base. This is the beginning of the shoulder. I will make the front neckline 11 cm deep. Next, I need to draw a beautiful round neckline. I raised the shoulder for 2 cm and then made the front neckline 11 cm deep down from this point. You can make a neckline as deep as you want. Have a look here. The fact that we raise this point doesn't mean that the whole sleeve should become wider. The line should match somewhere after the shoulder. I've told you everything about the neckline. These two points should be on the same level. Everything is so simple. I think that it will take you about 10-15 minutes to draw and cut such dress. The front and the back are ready. The side seam, the sleeve, the shoulder seam, the neckline. Everything is perfect. Do not forget to make notches on the waistline. Next, I'll cut and tack the center front. I'm taking the center front now. I've decided to make this seam just because I like seams on the center front. You don't necessarily have to make it. In this case, you don't need to cut the fold on the center front. This is the back. And this is the front. When I tack the side and the shoulder seams, I'll try the dress on. I need to match the notches to start taking. Now I can try the dress on. Have a look here. I made the front neckline 11 cm deep, and I think that it's not deep enough. Maybe I'll make it deeper after the fitting. Now you know how to make such an amazing dress fast and easy. You can make it wider or more close fitting, it's up to you. Have a look at me. I'm wearing the tagged dress. 
I didn't want the dress to be too wide, so I made 1.5 cm wide side seams. Now I can see that they should be 1 cm wide. The fabric stretches, so maybe I won't even have to do it. I'm not sure yet. You can see that all the details fit me perfectly. Due to the fact that I started drawing the sleeves pretty high, these parts are not baggy. Have a close look at the sleeve. They look amazing. I love such three quarter sleeves. Have a look at the seam on the center front. I think that it looks amazing. This is a very comfortable casual dress. I can wear it to work. Such dresses are very convenient. I'll edge the neckline with the bias binding. I've already showed you how to do it. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Štirina. Guys, please subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos and press the like and the bell buttons. I really need your support. Thank you. Goodbye.